All right, guys, welcome to my next Let's Play alongside Bravely Default. You can tell what it is in the name already, but yay! I'm glad that this is out. I couldn't wait for it. We'll watch the intro, though, if there is one. Let's hope there is. Yeah, Atelier Esha Alchemy, Alchemist of Dusk, and uh, of of the Dusk Sky. The, sorry. Ah uh, man, how long I I've been waiting for an Atelier game again. Um, I love the Atelier Iris series. Um, I I had stopped playing the, the Atelier games when they started focusing mainly on synthesis and alchemy, with all the games um like Rorona and um. Um, I forget the rest. I, I Yisu, I think. And, I mean, there was a bunch of them. Um, th yeah. But now I'm back. Awesome. Atelier, Esha, and Logi, Alchemist of the Dust Sky. We're going to start a new game. Now, this game is the first to uh, introduce um, playing as two main protagonists. We have Esha Malier, or Malier. She's a young alchemist who utilizes the traditional alchemical techniques passed down from her mother. An energetic rookie, she does her best to help others using her alchemy skills. And then we have Logix Fixaria, young alchemist trained in the latest alchemical techniques, who has made his way to the frontier region. He's pursuing his lifelong dream while contending with the hardships of life on the frontier. <sighs> now, the reason I'm playing this, and I um I, I say you know that I haven't played on in a while, is because you know the game's fo been focused on daily life. Of the alchemists there's been um at least to my understanding a uh, minimum amount of like you know combat and uh, I'm sure the story is alright but you know it's not like a serious world changing story type thing and it's just about like you know getting your alchemy business up and running and doing stuff like that this game has promised uh, that uh, Logix's story is going to be like the old games. It's going to focus a lot on JRPG-ness and, you know, battling and stuff. That's why I'm playing it, and that's why we're going to play as Logix first. Um, if you want what past uh, Atelier games have been, like Atelier, Miruru, and all that other type of stuff, you know, daily life, <clears throat> running in an alchemy shop, crafting stuff for people, etc., you play as Esha. Um... So yeah, we're gonna do Logix. Yep. Let's do this. And we're gonna start.
so it, I don't know what to assume by that uh, flashback type of story. He lost someone. Alright, Logie's journey begins. I love the graphics of this game. It's a uh, very cool. Finally, I'm here. I knew I was in for a long trip. It was farther than I expected. Cell shady mixed with the tails uh, type of vibe. Pretty cool. He must have come a long ways. Do you know where to find the local branch? You'll find it near the town square. I'm supposed to take you there myself, but something came up. Would you mind finding your own way? I've read the file. I should be fine. I'm really sorry. If you'll excuse me. At a new post already, huh? Well, at least I should be glad I made it here the first day of my assignment. I haven't even seen my lodgings yet, but I suppose I should get to the branch ASAP. Okay. My name is Logix Fixario. Logix F Fixario, that's his name. Okay. So we know the proper pronunciation. People usually call me Logi, and I think I've grown to like that name. Logi. I like Logi better, but Logi, okay. I had a job as an alchemist in a faraway city, but due to circumstances, I had to leave. Now I'm here in Colsate because I was told they're in need of alchemists. I decided to come here on my own. So the stories of both are supposed to be the same, but uh, the thing that uh, Logics will be focusing on JRPG like they through sure the game I can get along in this foreign town. instead of just alchemy, and um, and uh, Isha is supposed to do, be alchemy and. Not a lot of combat -y type stuff. If worse comes to worst, I suppose things will work themselves out. I need to get a handle on the work here. And, uh, of course, the endings will probably be different. But, yeah, that's about it. So, won't be missing a whole lot by, you know, picking, uh, logics. Oh, who's this very fine-looking gentleman? Colin Grumman. Thank you for coming such a long way. I'm the chief of the Frontier Special Investigation Bureau here in Colsate. The name's Logix Fixaria. I look forward to working with you. Hmm. I've been briefed on your history. Looks like you've been through a lot for such a young age. Well, I'm sure you already know. But we're on the edge of uninhabited land. It's quite far from where you're from. On top of that, we're short-staffed and short-supplied. The accommodations may not exactly be up to par either. Of course, I'll do what I can to help with that. But I doubt it'll ever come close to where you used to live. Please, don't worry. Thank you very much for your consideration. Good answer. Now, if there's anything you need, don't hesitate to ask. Starting today, you work for the town government of Colsate. I hope you dedicate your efforts to improving it. Much appreciated. I will be in your care. Well, now that I've said my piece, you're officially on board. I'll have you sent over to your R&D division. There's someone waiting for you in the hall. It should be easy to find in any case. Understood. All right. Hmm. Well, hopefully this will solve our staffing problems at R&D. I'll leave the rest to Marion. I also have to say before I begin, uh, this game takes place four years after Atelier Aishu, uh, the Alchemist of Dusk. Um, it's, it is in a new land, like a new area, but same world. Um, so I don't know if there are going to be some uh, throwbacks to Atelier Aishu. Maybe if you guys played that one, you could tell me. I'm not sure. I never played it. Um, but, yeah. So, there you go. Two. Two alchemists. Two alchemists. 
Who's waiting for me in the hall? Is it this lady? No? This must be R&D. I know it'll be where I'll be working as of today. Still, I don't have any idea what I'll be doing. I hope I can live up to their expectations. No, I can't let myself get caught up in those thoughts. I have to do whatever I can here. The most important thing is to make a lasting first impression. All right. Oh, hello there. Excuse me, is this the R&D division? Oh, there you are. We were waiting for you. I'm the research lead around here, Marion Quinn. It's a pleasure to meet you. You as well, Miss Marion Quinn. Marion Quinn. saying he's the other new member joining the R&D team. Now, why don't you introduce yourself, Eska? Eska, okay. Well, we got her pr pronunciation. Uh, um, <laughs> oh, I'm Eska Malier. Eska Mal Malier. Uh, cool. My name is Logix Fixario. I'm still not entirely sure how you do things here, so I hope you'll show me around. Um, I look forward to working with you, Mr. Logix. As do I. <laughs> oh, you kids. That was a stiff introduction. Relax a little. You'll be working together a lot. Y yes I suppose you're right. <laughs> I'll do my best. S sorry. By the way, ma'am, where is the rest of the team? There's technically one more member, but because of a mission, I'm afraid we're all we have today. Is that normal? This seems rather, uh, small for a team. It is quite small. In fact, we shouldn't even be operating, considering how short-handed we are. Now that you mention it, when I helped you out before, you didn't have many members either. Why is that? Did we get thrown on, like, the D team? Nobody wants to be here. The truth is, R&D's always been understaffed and unable to operate. And that led to poor marks from above. When I was put in charge, the entire department was all but disbanded. So then, transferring you here really didn't solve any problems, did it? Absolutely not. That father of mine, I'll give you a promotion, my foot. He stuck <laughs> me in middle management, so I have to do paperwork all day. And there's no such thing as overtime. Is that other guy her father? Because didn't they have different names? I was thinking maybe gunman. Sounds like you. Oh, gunman and some father, whoever that is. But all that ends today. Now I have two brilliant underlings, and both of you are alchemists. Now nobody can tell me my R and D department's <laughs> just a bunch of dropouts. Ah. Oh. I mean, you're an alchemist too, Logix. What a coincidence! There's so much about alchemy that I never learned. It would be amazing if you could teach me. I see. Well, I'll do my best, but I'm not sure that I know enough to teach others either. Still, it's uncommon to hire on two alchemists at the same time. I know, right? That's what I asked for on the application, but I never expected my request to come through. I, I see. So that's what happened. At any rate, I'm gonna put the both of you right to work. You're gonna help me raise our ratings and make people realize that we're the best our division has to offer. I'll do my best. Understood. Hmm, so I have to work with her? She looks really honest and diligent. Hopefully things will go smoothly. Honest and diligent? I All I see is spunky, perky girl that's gonna probably try and follow me around like a innocent puppy uh, that, that's a cute uh, feature but you know still oh hello I've returned all right remember another girl aren't I lucky <laughs> whoa 
Linka. Oh, welcome back, Linka. Well, isn't this perfect timing? You remember Eska, right, Linka? Let me introduce you to Lodgy. He's one of the alchemists joining us today. I've heard about you. This is Linka. I suppose she would be your senior here. Oh, she's the one you said was out on a mission? Yes, she has a lot of assignments to keep the monsters at bay. In fact, your next deployment's been decided. She might be a little rough around the edges, but she knows how to swing a sword. Feel free to ask her for help. It's good to meet you, Eska, Lodgy. Let's do our best, yeah? Uh, um, it's nice to meet you as well, Linka. All right. Well, time for your first job. Oh, but before that, Lodgy, you don't really know much about Colsey, right? Only what was in the file. I tried to find out as much as I could. Well, Eska grew up here, so she knows all about the town. If you're ever confused or lost, go and ask her. Okay. Got it. I'll do my best. So for your first job, we've got a request to fix the windmill down at the apple orchard. The windmill? Now that you mention it, I heard there were some problems with it. I've already sent someone for maintenance to figure out what's wrong. But I'd like the two of you to find out what's going on down there. Show Lodgy around town while you're at it. Show him around? Yes, I understand. I'll be fine. Thank you very much, ma'am, for your consideration. <laughs> Don't mention it. You two better get to know each other, because you're going to be doing a lot of work together. Yep, you said if that you already. If you have any questions, come find me or Linka. Okay. What do you mean, huh? It's our job as seniors to help teach the newcomers. Sorry, but with all the missions outside, I really don't know the town that well myself. Wow. Oh my goodness. Hasn't she well, been living there though? I'm sure you're able to answer any questions these two might have. You got it? Uh, understood. <laughs> <laughs> well then, we'll be counting on you, Linka. I will do my best. I'm surrounded by women. This job may be a lot harder than I first thought. <laughs> You'll be alright, Lodgy. <laughs> lots and lots of women. Alright. Well then, shall we be going? Sure, but what should I show you first? Uh, um, Mr. Logix? Ah, uh, <laughs> you can just call me Lodgy. I'm not used to being addressed so formally. Okay. Lodgy, is there anything you would like to see? <laughs> well, I saw a large ranch on my way here. I was curious what that was. Oh, that's our apple orchard. My parents' house is actually an orchard, too. Cool Saint has a lot of orchards. Our town specializes in producing apples, you know? And they're delicious. I see. Perhaps I should try one later. Hmm? If your parents run an orchard, why did you become a government worker? Would you inherit the farm? I thought about that too, but since I can use alchemy, I thought I should be putting my skills to use. And I want to use my alchemy to help as many people as I can. And my father actually agreed. I... That's nice. See, that's a nice story. Y yes <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just a little nervous right now. <laughs> sorry, uh, so am I. I'm just not used to situations like these. How about we keep on going? Show me the way, Eska. You got it. Let's head over to one of the apple orchards. They're right on the outskirts of town. Okay. Alright, we're playing. Um, fun side note, this is the first Atelier game that's going to be made into an anime. So, yeah, there you go. Alright, apple orchards, weapons and items. This is what we got, I guess. Battle equipment. I got the phantom saber and a leather coat. She has a staff and a cotton shirt. Container. This would be our items. Alright. Let's uh, look around. That's all they both say. Yeah, I can jump too. Okay. Dunk. Where will we be going?
town entrance? She said it was like on the outskirts of town. No, that's the exit. I don't want to exit. Is there a map I can bring up to the plaza? as a hub for all kinds of research. Yeah, it used to be a small farming village, but once the government got involved, it grew and grew. Right, it's large for a city out on the frontier. The streets are bustling too. We're in the town square right now. You can see all the billboards and shops. There's a lot of businesses around the airship port. That's why this is the center of town. I see. So it's not just the hub for research, but also a growing area for business. Honestly, I was expecting something a little more rustic, but I stand corrected. Cool. Oh, who's this? You were expecting us all to be in furs? Living in log cabins out in the sticks, kid? Oh, hello, mister. Sure, it's not huge it's compared person. to Central City. But wherever people and money go, you get a good crowd. Throw up a store here and you'll get all kinds of customers. That's how cities grow, my friend. Duke Burial. I see. Um... Oh, hello, Mr. Duke. Hey there, Eska. I just finished prepping for tonight. Are you out running errands? Yes, I'm going to my job now. Um, Lodgy, this is Mr. Duke, and he runs the store here. It's nice to meet you. I'm Lodgy. I've been assigned to the local branch's R&D department. Ah, I see, I see. Well, thanks for coming by. You're always welcome here. You still don't know much about this city, right? Well, now you know where to go when you get hungry. Technically, cool. it's a bar. But I've been putting a lot of work into my menu, too. That would be a lot of help. I still don't know anywhere to eat. Well, now you do. Heck, you can even have dinner here tonight if you want. You're a man. Eat up. But <laughs> if we ate at your bar every day, Duke, we'd be, uh, unable to move. <laughs> well, I do cook for real manly men. It might be a bit much for a wisp of a girl like you. You can eat well despite the season's poor crops? That's good to hear. <laughs> well, I didn't mean to take up all your time. Sorry to stop you while you're on the job. Yeah, Duke, oh, you're messing up our it. job. All right, Mr. Duke, if you'll excuse us. Yeah, good luck with your work. Take care of Lodgy, too. Thank you very much, Mr. Duke. What a hearty man. But he seems easy to talk to. Perhaps I should stop by his bar later on. Hmm, I don't know. Might not be a bad idea. Duke mainly sells ingredients for cooking. Stop by his bar when you have completed an assignment. Alright. To the balloon docks. Hello. To urban area. I guess the urban area might be where these orchards are. Maybe. Hello, girl. Like browsing goods. I see. I like doing that too. It's fun. Apple orchards. Yay! So these are the apple orchards? Whoa. Isn't there anything like this where you're from? I'm not sure. At the very least, I've never seen it up close. This place somehow feels really fresh. Heh, <laughs> that's cool. Does it come from growing on top of the debris from the ruins? It must impart some vitality. My, oh my. You've returned already, Eska? Have you forgotten something? Who is this sexual sounding voice? A 
Ooh. Clone. God, name is Clone. No, I haven't. I'm here on business, really. Oh. Did they put you to work already? They're sure keeping you busy, aren't they? What a strange person. Is she a friend of yours, Eska? Ah, oh, I'm sorry. This is Clone. She makes the apple okay. orchards, and she's well, like the mother to me. Hello. My name is Clone. Nice to meet you, Clone. Like a mother? Clone, this is Lodgy. He's going to be working with me starting today. Um, hello. It's nice to meet you. I see. Well, I'm sure Eska will be a handful. So please look after her. You too. Um, what exactly do you do as the manager here? Right now, there are a few farmers who manage their own areas of the orchard. I oversee their operation. We harvest a great number of apples every year. Please feel free to stop by, and I will give you some. Wow, that would be amazing. I would love to try one if I get the chance. Oh, but did you say you were on duty? Is this in regards to the windmill? Oh, that's right. Um, someone's supposed to be here already, but... I think I know where to take you. Please, follow me. Is this person... Tom? What is she doing out on the frontier? Ah, uh, that explains the name Clone. She's a robot. Huh? Brother, what are you doing here? Hey, Eska. I was wondering where you were today. Awen Sidalet. Ah, Clone A, you're here too. I just finished my checkup. Oh. Over so soon. Thank you very much for your hard work. Well, it still works, but barely. There's only so much I can do here without getting some new parts. Hmm. That's not good. I will leave the matter to you. I get it now. So you are the one who got here before us, brother. So it would seem. And windmill repair isn't exactly my specialty. Hmm. Did I see you near the depot by any chance? Yes, thanks for remembering. I didn't know you were Eska's brother, though. <laughs> we're actually cousins, and we've got a few years between us. <laughs> we're not siblings by blood. My name's Owen. I'm an engineer. I maintain the airships around here. Okay, I'm Logi. Good to know. I've recently been assigned to the Colsate branch. I look forward to working with you. <laughs> Same here. And, uh, you don't have to be that formal with me. I'm not that much older than you, you know? I... <laughs> I see. Well, I guess... I'll work on that, Alwyn. Well, it's a pleasure for me, too. Don't be shy about asking questions around here, either. <laughs> Brother, you sure get to know people really fast, huh? <laughs> We're gonna be working together a lot. No need to be such strangers, right? I... I guess you have a point, but... Why do I feel like I'm lost here? So what are the two of you doing together? I've been assigned to the R&D division with Eska. She's been kind enough to show me around town. Oh, that's right. You started your new job today, too, Eska. Sorry, I completely forgot about it. So the other new trainee I heard about is actually you, Eska? <laughs> it all <laughs> makes sense now. Huh? New trainees? The R&D division's been understaffed. So Marion asked me to take care of her new recruits. So I guess that makes me something like your instructor now. Start looking forward to it. You're an airship engineer, but you repair windmills and teach as well? That's quite a handful. Well, engineering is just a part of what I do. In all honesty, I'm more of a jack-of-all-trades. So, what exactly should we be doing? You see that windmill? I think I've done about all I can with just normal repairs. That's why I want the two of you to help me make some new components to fix it. But that sounds really difficult. Are you sure we're qualified? <laughs> You can leave the actual technical work to the engineers. Your part won't be that hard. Marion should be able to give you more details about it. Well, should we head back to the branch? I understand. I'll ask our boss. Okay, cool. He seems a little laid back, but he's really easy to talk to. I should come to him for advice. All right. Um. I hope you guys enjoyed the first part. Um, on the next part, 
we head back to... Looks like... Looks like a barrel. Looks like... Looks like... I could probably do something to that eventually. Um, we're gonna head back to the uh, R&D department. And uh, hopefully finish the first quest. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. Speaking of which, I need to go report to my own boss too. Do you mind if I make a little detour?